Well, I finally found Bridgelantis. At least that's what I'm calling it. I've heard rumors of this walkway existing deep in the park because this used to be an old mining town, but I finally found it after a long search. Anyways, hope you enjoyed today's video. It was requested by Chris, my $50 a month patron supporter. Just so you guys know, if you're at the $50 mark or higher, you get to select the video I make for the month. Welcome to today's episode. Today we're looking at the forward and side brackets, and then afterwards I'm going to talk about cross-checking. So let's watch. Okay, so you're going to press, stroke. Now when you're entering this, right away what you want to do is you want to keep the free shoulder right here, you want to drive through it. You don't want to open this up because that's going to make it hard to maintain the inside edge. Okay, let me watch. Let's get in your edge. Again, I'm maintaining this twist. This is also what cross-checking is about. Keep in mind right here, this position. Notice that my hips and my shoulders are going one way along with my skate. Everything's kind of aligned right now. So let's watch. Okay, now, as we come close to the point of turn, I start twisting against this direction. So what, what's happening is, if you look at my foot, my hips are going one way, but I'm pulling my skating shoulder back. So this way, I'm gonna be able to rise and turn. This is gonna help me make the turn happen. I rise and then I cross twist. So then in effect, what happens is I actually keep my shoulders facing the same location they were before. Let's watch that again. Notice how they're facing us right here. And then go through. The twist happens, the foot changes, but the shoulders remain. This is what you wanna do for the bracket. Every turn has its own specific rotation. What you want to pay attention is to how the hips and the shoulders align. And that's basically how cross-checking works. Let's continue watching. Press and then pull back. Now here, what you want is you want to kind of keep skating on the same curve. And then you don't want your foot going too far to the side here. And you want to maintain the skating arm on the same curve as the foot. Sometimes skaters unravel. They open up this part too much this way, and then that can pull you off your edge. So be careful doing that. Okay, and stop now. Here I'm just going to go back and forth. If you just watch, again, I'm going to skid in the other direction, press, rise and turn, press, pull back. Now in terms of the skate action, I'm going to press, I'm going to stroke in through my heel, I'm going to press on my heel, rise and turn on the ball of the foot, press into the heel after the turn, pull back through the heel and stop. So in effect, I rise and turn on the ball of my foot and I roll forward, let's watch. And from back here from the heel, I'm gonna roll forward to the ball, let's watch. I'm turning on the ball and then I'm going right back to the heel. So it's heel, ball to turn and heel. I also rise in my knee, let's watch this again. Press, rise to make the turn happen. And then I press back down. Okay, here's another view for us. All right, again, press, stroke in. Now, 
again what I was talking about cross checking. Notice the twist. I'm maintaining myself so my back is to the circle I'm on. My shoulders aren't both looking this way. I'm actually trying to twist myself so that my skating shoulder is pulled back and my free shoulder is brought through. Let's continue watching. And I rise and change. Now I bring my skating shoulder from back in front and I'm pulling my free shoulder from front to back. And I'm doing this to try to maintain the same position. This is very important because if you let your body go willy nilly, what's gonna happen is you're not gonna be able to maintain the correct edges. Press in and then pull back out. Now you don't actually have to do that kind of action, but it does help accelerate a little bit. Again, I'm having a cross twist here. Press, again, hips are going this way. My chest is looking forward. My shoulders, watch the change. Rise and change. Bend, pull through, and stop. Again, press, rise and change. Press, pull through. Something else I wanna point out when doing brackets, you have an axis that you work around. The turn should be at the topmost point. You don't want to skate in, turn, and have a big loop out like that. In effect, if you do it like that, that means you didn't do it on the correct edges. Or you tried to turn too soon, like turning up here, and that means you didn't get to the top of your curve. So don't rush doing the turn too quickly. Make sure you're at the right coming up on the top of the curve, and then rise and change to make the turn happen. Now don't look down when you do this either because if you're used to doing this with looking down then it's going to affect how you balance out your body. And then if you do that a lot, well you're going to have to relearn how to do it properly with your head up. Now here's going to be some close up views. Let's watch this. Okay, I'm going to press, stroke in. Now notice my edge. You don't want to overskate this edge. If you come around too much you're not going to get the exit edge. Brackets are very hard to do properly. Just keep that in mind. This is one of those exercises, or this turn, takes a while to really get good. Rise and change, back in the heel. If you stay on the ball, you're gonna have a harder time exiting properly, and you're more than likely to scrape your toe picks. Press, pull back. Again, I'm not trying to let this foot go out here. I don't want it to do this. More or less in line with my skating foot. Maybe a little to the side, but not a lot. Again, press, rise, turn, press, pull back. All right, well, I hope I answered some questions today. I know there's a lot that goes into this, and this is not an easy exercise, but keep at it, keep practicing, and before you know it, you're gonna get it. For those that just can't seem to do it whatsoever, like they're not even close, try working on something else. Exercises should be challenging yet doable. I mean, if it's not even close at all, then there's really no point. You'll be just wasting your time on it. Try doing three turns, for instance. Anyway, if you have any kind of questions in terms of cross-checking or what's the specific rotation that you have to do in terms of with your upper body versus your lower body, you can just feel free to message me and then I'll be sure to show it in my next live stream video. Or just watch one of my other videos, find the turn that you're looking for, and just pay close attention to how I go into it and how I turn and how I exit out of it. Now, what I do with my shoulders is really what it's about. You can do all this with your arms down, and there are other positions you can go through, by the way, but the twist that you do with your hips, with your shoulders, that's important. Keep that in mind. Well, that's it for this video. I hope you enjoyed it and learned something new today. If you want to help my efforts, you can do so via my Patreon or my GoFundMe. Or you can also do so by liking my videos and by sharing them. See you next time!